And we have in studio with us one of that team, uh, Dr. Shiran Shapira. She is head of the laboratory of molecular biology at the Ikhlav Medical Center. And Dr. Shapira, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very in much. In as simple layman's terms as possible, can you explain more or less how this drug works or would work on the coronavirus? Yes, of course, I will try. So the ExoC24 is actually based on nanotechnology that is composed of two components. We have the CD24 and exosomes. Exosomes are small vesicles that are secreted for most cell types in our body. And C24 is a cell membrane protein that we are working on it for at least two decades. So we have the two compounds and we combine them together in order to uh, generate the exoc 24 So this drug actually is given by inhaled in, um, directly to the lungs. Wait, it's in, the, the person inhales it. You give some kind of inhale. Yes, directly to the lung, where the cytokine storm is. Okay. Is the the most worse in this case of uh, the patients, and we um, aim to uh, inhibit this overreaction of the immune system. Right. And prevent the deterioration of the patients. Right. Now, how uh, sick, I mean, if someone is already like on an, on, a, on an inhaler, would the drug be effective on it? So far, we've heard it being directive on people with light to, I'd say, moderate symptoms. Would people who are have a serious condition of COVID-19, would it be able to reverse that somewhat? So all of our patients were uh, mentioned as a moderate to severe conditions, okay? And we intend to, uh, our intervention is in order to prevent the deterioration of the patient and the need of the ventilation and even death. But if someone is on ventilation, or it's, at that point, would it be, would, would it most us. likely be too late? It's too late. Okay, so now, as we said, we've, uh, I, it's, I don't, was this an actual clinical trial? Because 30 patients seems quite a, a small number. Yes, Does that so qualify, we, what, as an opening clinical trial? It was a phase one clinical phase trial. Phase one. Yes, and of course, we are currently working hard in order to start the phase two and phase three. So far, we did it in Ihelov, and now we are intent to do it in maybe multi-center, and of course, to compare it to placebo group. Right. Let me ask, ask you, how, uh, how long would be th those trials last, like before it could actually come to market? It's a very hard question. I don't have the answer. I'm sorry. But we hope that uh, the prime minister and, um, uh, of course, we get all the, um, the insurance and we can start the uh, trial. I mean, I have to ask this question because, of course, we have many patients now, especially with these new variants, seriously ill. Will this drug be made available on an experimental basis? to people uh, who, are, who, who require it, perhaps even outside the clinical trial. Uh, has that been discussed, that option? Currently is being discussed, but of course, first of all, we're going to do the phase two and then phase three, and then we will see. Okay. Uh, now, how does this compare to some of the drugs that are out there that I guess are not seen necessarily as cures, but certainly can be used to alleviate the conditions. I'm thinking of remdesivir, for example, so, so far, as the best as the best example. So far, the, the different therapies that were tested were not proved as effective. And all of them were reused for corona. Our drug is directed to corona and other ARDS conditions, the acute respiratory distress orders. So it's not reused it's right for corona. Now I know there are other drugs being developed. Sim not, I mean, in terms of uh, treating coronavirus, not just as a vaccine. Uh, elsewhere in the world, are there other drugs that are already say in phase two uh, clinical trials, or not really uh, yes, at that stage? Yes, but again, so far no drug was proven to be very effective. In, in, in terms in terms of this. Yes. Now, yes. what about the issue of the, the uh, mutant strains of coronavirus? Did the patients who uh, you worked with, the, among those 30, did any have these new mutant strains or these people who already had the more common strains, if one can call it that, that I were out? I don't know the answer, but our advantage is that we are not uh, directly target the virus itself, so the mutation is not being an issue. We are going to, to treat the immune system so in your in your in your view in your view would this just based on the sort of the general signs would this work just as well on those people who have the new mutant strains uh, of it because we have heard that people getting more severe cases for example the South Africa strain apparently is quite serious yes, I suppose it will be the same I, okay I suppose. Um, any chance of I, I know I'm going to just press you a little bit 
Could this come to within three to six months? Is that a reasonable assumption? I hope so. I really hope so. Okay, well, let, let, <laughs> let, us, let us all hope of so. Course. Dr. Shiran Shapira of Ikhlaf Hospital, thank you for joining thank us you. on The Rundown.